Hey you guys, it's Cicada Homestead to bring you an update on the chickens and they are outside in their coop and they are enjoying themselves. All right, you guys, so um, we got them out the other day in the rain and we was able to get them all dried in uh, with the shavings and the tarp that's on it. And um, what did I do different this time? I actually strung my water up this time. As you guys can see that big old giant rope there. And I actually am trying this new feeder right here, which I will say a go for even the baby chickens. This is um, super cool. Um, it holds a lot of food. I think this is a 10 pounder and it holds a, uh, a lot of food and it keeps them from dirtying up the food when they are in these black buckets right here. Um, as you can see, what happens is they start just laying in it. So they cleaned that um, bowl out back there and now that's just a little spot for them to, I guess, cool out. But what I'm gonna do is actually um, put some sand in there so they can bathe themselves in the sand. Cause for some reason, chickens like being in bowls. <laughs> So, um, as you can see, they look real happy. They uh, was elated when they got in here. They just fluffed around and cleaned themselves off, but um, they are very happy. So, um, I am definitely enjoying this feeder compared to the baby chick tray. I cannot stand the baby chick tray because they make a mess with that. And you always, always, always have to clean them. So this method, um, this tray here, it's excellent, especially, and I'm gonna probably string this up too to keep them from messing in it, but um, they're actually doing pretty good with this one. So I'm not sure how many slots it is. I'm thinking maybe, maybe 16 slots or 20. So they all done ate some and uh, they were all gathered in the circle eating some. And I guess these was the ones that was waiting for the other ones to finish. So as you can see, they all went back there to lay down and cool out. So, um, yeah, this is um, going to be their home for the next uh, five to six weeks. I think they're going to be four weeks next week. And um, they're growing very, very fast. Super fast. Yep. So, you want to focus on keeping their um, they coop dried up. Um, add shavings, clean it out on a regular. We try to do ours like maybe once a week. I think we, we wound up doing it once a week last year. And we'll clean it out and compost it to the back. And I think last year I actually took it and put them in my raised bed because it's fertilizer. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is what it's looking like. And they are doing well and they happy. So, yeah, you guys, just focus on keeping your um, coops clean, keeping fresh water, um, and make sure you get them a sand, a sand bath. So I think I have a, a bag of sand from my cement projects that I can put inside there so they can start bathing in the sand. And I actually put this water jug on top of that bowl. That'll help uh, keep it um, keep the uh, water nice and fresh. And I'm still putting in the um, chicken, I call it chicken Pedialyte powder um, to strengthen them up and help them digest their food and things of that nature. All right, family, so this is my chicken coop update. I hope everyone is doing well, and SEK will see you guys on the next video. Peace.